exactly speaking, uh, when I was 14 years old, first human went up into space. His name is Yuri Gagarin, a Russian. And uh, I saw him on TV news. I was very much uh, excited that uh, what he said, uh, Earth is blue, shining. So at that time, I simply wanted to see the Earth from space, like him, and I like to um, see with my real uh, naked eyes how blue it would be. So that I really wanted to go up in space. And uh, at the same time, at that time I was very much interested in uh, studying um, science, particularly um, environmental sciences, natural sciences, because um, I was very much curious about the uh, mystery of uh, space and Earth, so that uh, I wanted to become not only astronaut, but also scientist as well. And in fact, when I was 15 years old, one year later, I uh, witnessed total eclipse of the sun. And uh, seeing the eclipse of the sun, I was very much impressed because environment, nature, changed suddenly when eclipse occurred. That's why I really uh, was, I was very much curious going up in space and to become a scientist. What was the experience like for you when you first saw space? Uh, as an astronaut and as a scientist? Well, my first mission as a first Japanese astronaut is to conduct a lot of experiments proposed by um, scientists from life science, material science, and fluid dynamics uh, experiments. So that uh, since I liked very much um, on science experiments, it was a thrill for me to challenge myself how I can pursue you know, those experiments. And uh, so that uh, from my childhood dream, plus as a scientist, it was very challenging and I enjoyed very much the job of astronaut. Now for the future generations, they like to know what advice would you give, life lessons that you have learned uh, after you have been a, a number of a few missions with NASA, uh, how can they wish or aspire to become a scientist and an astronaut like yourself? Well, um, the region probably uh, what me, Asian uh, region here, now very much uh, dynamically uh, growing its economy and also science and technology in various fields of uh, society. But uh, what we have to think of, what the value of individuals and the relationship individual with this globe, this planet, would be very important for of the future society because even if individual becomes rich we are now facing global challenges of nature because we know by science and technology that uh, limitation of the planet called the earth because the total population here uh, exceeded altogether 7 billion. And uh, we have to survive within limited amount of uh, energy sources, food, natural resources, and water. So that um, I think uh, my advice for energy generation we have to continue this development.
at the same time, we cannot utilize, we cannot use up all the resources we have, this planet have, has. So that um, we have to be clever, we have to seek wisdom how to continue our lives, not only individual, but also total uh, population. For that, science and technology will play a very important role. So those who would like to study or specialize in the field of science and technology, particularly in research, uh, be advised to consider the relationship between individual, society, and the planet, including everything. Because um, on this planet, not only human beings, but also other life forms live at the same time. Without having other life forms, human beings cannot survive either. That I experienced in space, you know, space shuttle, spaceship, we can survive only artificial environment without any, without any other life forms. But since uh, I experienced um, two weeks up in space, and uh, in such a short period of time, I found without other life forms, human beings cannot survive for long term. That's why my advice to younger generation is always think the relation between individual and the whole.